Hi, and welcome to our site. Today, we're going to learn more about the complicated world of narcissism and talk about something that affects a lot of relationships, what happens when a narcissist partner doesn't talk to them. People with narcissistic personality disorder are not just vain or cocky. They have a serious illness that can ruin relationships. When someone with narcissistic traits is quickly cut off from the person who loves and approves of them the most, it can have deep and complex effects. The journey is rough and shows a lot. From the original shock and anger to more serious mental effects like narcissistic injury and identity crises. We'll talk about how a narcissist reacts right away and over time when their partner stops talking to them. We'll also talk about things from the partner's point of view, including how emotional freedom feels and how hard it is for them to keep their limits. If you have a narcissist in your life or just want to learn more about this interesting psychological trait, keep reading. We'll give you professional help, real-life examples, and insights on how to deal with these tricky situations. Let's get started and find out why the narcissist breaks down when they can't talk to you. Narcissism is a complex psychological disorder that has a big impact on relationships. The word narcissism is often used to mean vanity. A person with narcissistic personality disorder, NPD, constantly thinks they are better than others, needs to be admired, and doesn't care about other people. Going through a no-contact situation with a partner can be very hard for someone with NPD. Learning about narcissistic personality disorder. It's important to know what drives a narcissist before we talk about how no touch can cause a breakdown. People with narcissistic personality disorder are known for 1. Grandiosity, a false sense of how important you are. 2. Need for admiration, a constant need for other people to notice and agree with you. 3. Not having empathy, or not being able to understand or care about other people's feelings and wants. 4. Entitlement, the idea that someone is better than others and deserves special care. 5. Exploitative behavior, which means using other people to get what you want without caring about how it affects those people. A lot of the time, narcissists get into relationships not to love or support the other person, but to boost their ego and feel good about how much better they are than others. Your part as a supplier in narcissistic relationships. One important idea for understanding narcissistic behavior is narcissistic supply. This word refers to the love, respect, and emotional power that people around narcissists give them. Partners of narcissists often have to keep giving them what they need, which can be very tiring, whether they choose to or are forced to. When a partner says no contact, they cut off this supply. This sudden lack of something can make the narcissist have a big emotional and mental response. Responses right away to no contact. A narcissist's first response to no contact can be different, but it usually follows a pattern that you can guess. At first, the ego might be confused and doubtful. They often don't understand why their partner would stop talking to them because they think they are important and can't be replaced. 1. Denying, the narcissist might not want to think that the no contact is real or that it will last. They might tell themselves that their partner is just joking or that they'll be back soon. 2. Anger and rage. When narcissists can't deny what's happening, they often turn to anger. This anger can show up as pushy attempts to get back in touch, like calling, texting, or even stalking the person all the time. When the narcissist gets angry, they might blame their partner and say they betrayed them or weren't grateful. 3. Desperation and bargaining. If a narcissist is ignored for a long time, they may try desperate things. This can mean making big promises, saying sorry a lot, or offering to change. A lot of the time, these acts are only meant to make contact again and not to really think about or change themselves. 4. Depression and loss of hope. When narcissists realize they haven't been in touch, they may feel depressed. If someone loses their main source of narcissistic supply, they feel hopeless. This is not the same as clinical sadness. Effects of the breakdown on mind and emotion. 
When a narcissist doesn't get any interaction, they can really break down. Here are some of the most important psychological and mental effects. 1. Narcissistic Injury A narcissistic injury is the deep wound that happens when someone challenges a narcissist's sense of self-worth. No touch is one of the worst things that can happen to a narcissist because it threatens their inflated sense of self-worth. The narcissist might feel badly hurt, embarrassed, and useless. 2. Identity Crisis Narcissists often figure out who they are by looking at how other people see them. When a partner stops talking to them, the ego loses an important mirror. This could cause them to have an identity problem because they don't know who they are without their partner's constant approval and love. 3. Sense of emptiness. Being cut off from narcissistic feed can make the narcissist feel hollow and empty. This emptiness can be too much for them because their sense of self-worth depends so much on approval from other people. 4. More manipulative behavior. A narcissist may become more manipulative in order to retake control and get back in touch with the person. Some examples of this are guilt-tripping, gaslighting, and even playing the victim. They can use any strategy they think will get their partner to respond. Effects on the narcissist in the long run. Different things can happen over time after no touch. For some narcissists, the experience can make them more stuck in their egotistical behaviors. For others, it might cause a crisis that makes them think about themselves and make changes. 1. Reinforcing narcissistic behaviors. A lot of narcissists act in ways that make them feel better about themselves and that their partner is to blame. They might quickly look for new ways to get what they need, starting new relationships right away to fill the gap. 2. Short-term self-reflection. Sometimes, the intense effects of not talking to someone might make an ego think about themselves. This could be a short time for the narcissist to think about themselves and see some of the bad things they are doing. They often don't last long, though, if they don't get skilled help. 3. Professional intervention. For some narcissists, the breakdown that comes from not talking to someone can push them to get professional help. Therapy can help narcissists figure out why they act the way they do and start the hard process of changing. The narcissist will have to face deep-seated insecurities and unhealthy ways of coping during this difficult and long trip. From the partner's point of view, when a narcissist partner chooses to cut off all contact, they usually do so to protect themselves. Being in a relationship with a narcissist can be hard on your emotions and make you feel useless confused, and alone. When a couple decides to stop talking to each other, these things often happen. Liberation of the emotions, at first, partners may feel free and relieved. When a narcissist stops making demands and manipulating their partner, it can be freeing for them to regain their sense of self and independence. 2. Guilt and self-doubt. Partners may feel guilty and doubt themselves even though they are relieved. It's possible for them to wonder if they made the right choice or feel bad about hurting the narcissist. When the narcissist tries to guilt trip or trick them into getting back in touch, these feelings are often made worse. 3. Heal and recover. Partners can start to get better from the mental damage the narcissist caused over time. As part of the healing process, people often reach out for help from friends, family, or professionals and work on boosting their self-esteem. Ways to keep the no-contact rule. Keeping in touch with a narcissist can be hard because they are stubborn and will try to control you. Here are some ways for partners to stick to the no-contact rule. 1. Block communication channels. It is very important to block the narcissist on all communication channels, such as the phone, email, and social media. This stops the narcissist from getting in touch which would break the no-contact rule. 2. Get help. It's important to have people who can help you. Support groups, friends, and family can offer emotional support and encouragement, which can help the partner stick to their choice. 3. Therapy. Going to therapy can be very helpful for both parties. A therapist can help them work through their feelings, boost their self-esteem, 
and come up with healthy ways to stay away from the person and set healthy limits. 4. Take care of yourself. During this time, it's very important to put your own health first. Partners can get their strength and confidence back by doing things that are good for their physical, social, and mental health. What it means. When a narcissist partner stops talking to them, they start to break down in a lot of different ways. It causes a lot of different feelings and thoughts, from denial and anger to hopelessness and maybe even self-reflection. The partner often starts a journey of healing and self-discovery while the narcissist fights to deal with the loss of their main source of narcissistic supply. Understanding how narcissistic behavior works and how severe the effects of no contact can be can help partners make smart choices and work on their own mental health. Real change is hard to come by for narcissists, but the breakdown that comes from not talking to someone can sometimes push them to get professional help and start the healing process. In the end, getting through the tough parts of a relationship with a narcissist takes strength, support, and a dedication to healing and taking care of yourself. Thanks for seeing. We hope that this in-depth look at how narcissists break down when they can't talk to their victim has given you useful information and a better grasp on this complicated subject. Narcissistic personality disorder can have a big effect on relationships. It's important for both partners to know how to deal with these problems. When you're working with a narcissist, it's important to remember to get help and put yourself first. Even though it's a hard road, knowing how things work can help you make smart choices that are good for your health. If you thought this video was helpful, please click like and share it with other people who could use the knowledge. Remember to subscribe to our station for more videos about psychology, relationships, and growing as a person. Leave a comment below to tell us what you think and what you've done. Please let us know if you have any questions or ideas for videos that we should make. Don't forget how important it is to take care of your mental health and well-being. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next movie.